Some wireless access points come with some connectivity tests so you can find out whether or not you're having trouble communicating with your devices. So I'm going to expand one of my devices and then click on Actions. And here we can see the option for a connectivity test. So I'll click on that. And I can see the source is this one particular access point. And now I want to see if I can reach a particular IP address. So I'll try to reach the gateway as an example. And we'll see if it's going to connect. And the test results are very good. So we know we can reach the gateway. That basically means that I am getting out to the internet. Of course, I already knew that because I'm able to see it using the cloud portal that we've been using so far. But what if I want to reach another IP address? So if I put in .200, for instance, and I click Start Connectivity Test, and then I'll see if I can reach .200. Now, if 200 is unreachable, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a problem unless we can see that the pinging or ICMP protocol is being blocked by the device that we're trying to reach. And if that's the case, then we can do what's called an ARP test. An ARP test allows us to type in ARP space minus A. Then I usually put in the pipe command, just in case I have a lot of different pages of responses. I won't have to scroll through them so much and click enter. So what this tells us is if that IP address is also reachable using an ARP or a hardware physical address request. If we can see that address here, so for instance, I'll just pick this one at random, then that means that that device is up and running. And I can go into the firewall and allow ICMP or ping requests to turn on, so that way I can reach it. And then I can test once again from my wireless access point. From my start button, I can open up Windows Defender Firewall, choose Advanced Settings, and then go to Inbound Rules. And from here, I can go to File and Printer Sharing Echo Request. And all I have to do is right-click and choose to enable the rule on all the different Echo requests, and then I'll be able to ping this particular device. The firewall will no longer block it. And now from another computer, I can ping this particular address, which is 192.168.1.198, and then the firewall no longer blocks it, and I should be able to ping it. So then what I would do is go into the wireless access point, and I would test pinging once again. And if that then worked, then I know that I'm communicating with that device. If it didn't, then I would do additional troubleshooting techniques to find out if the problem was at the wireless access point or at the client endpoint.